This tutorial is part of our full stack React Django DRF channels project, DJ Chat. You can watch this tutorial and many more from our YouTube course playlist, or the whole course, including access to additional resources from our Udemy course. The Udemy course link, which provides the best price for the course, is in the video description. So far, we have been developing a small filter, which returns different results based upon the parameters that are passed in. So let's take a look at how we can associate data across different tables. I've decided that whenever we return the server data, I want to also return any channels associated with that server. So I want to return the channel data associated to that server whenever I return the server data. One approach here, we could create or extend our filter to include some sort of property for channels, a true or false Boolean, and then go ahead and manipulate the query set or generate a new query set to return the server data and the channel data associated to the server. A different approach would be to directly in this serializer here, just reference the channel data. So if you remember in the model, we have here in the channel model, we have a foreign key over to the server that builds the relationship between the data. And we have the related name here, which we can utilize to retrieve the data from the channel model from the server. Okay, so we can utilize this related name. So let's go ahead and copy this. This is the approach we're going to take here. So let's say channel server. And then what we need to do now is create a new serializer because we want to return data from the channel model. We're going to need to serialize it so we can then present and send back to the front end. So let's quickly go ahead and build a new serializer for this. So this is going to be the, actually let's bring in the model first channel. So let's just call this channel serializer. As before, we're going to use the model ser model serializer. And then we can go ahead and just define the metadata for this. So this is just going to be called channel. Uh, channel. There we go. So now we can go ahead and finish the server serializer. So channel server equals channel serializer. And we potentially are going to be returning multiple. So we're going to say that many equals true. So we have now hard coded anytime any of the queries utilize this serializer is also going to grab the channels associated to the server. And it does that because we have a foreign key relationship between the channel table and the server table. And here we utilize the related name in order to build that connection and um, retrieve the associated data related to each server. Like I said at the start, that's just one approach we could have created most definitely a, a, a new filter option if we wanted to. But I think overall, and this is all going to be dependent upon your scenario, I think overall, when you think about whenever we are going to be retrieving server data, more often than not, we also want to include the channel server data. And that's why I've hard coded it here, because I think ultimately, like I said, most of the time, you'll probably want to include that in the data anyway. Of course, that's not always going to be the case. So now when we go over and have a look, so this is just in the root server select, when we have a look at the root here, you can see that every time we return a channel, this channel ID one, channel ID one has two channels associated to it, and ID two or channel two has one, and three and four does not have any channels associated to the server. So we can clearly see now that that data has now been added to any of the servers or the server data that we return. So hopefully that's now given you a different approach to consider when creating your serializers and thinking about returning data.